Good morning, good people. Um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tamela Tesnopai and happy Monday. So today I want to share with you what I believe is a testimony um, and what my friend also believes that it is a testimony. So um, there's a daily Bible study um, I do, Bible study prayer and reading of scripture on a daily basis and you know we always make sure that we try to show up as much as we can um on a daily basis of course whether we are feeling good whether we are not feeling good so there was a day that i didn't show up um and let me tell you guys the, the devil works over time the days that you don't show up in prayer the days that you don't show up in scripture and like reading the word um so i'm just going to share the word first with you and then i'll get along or get on with my testimony so the word says it's from mark chapter 14 and it's from verse 27 to 31 it says jesus predicts peter's denial jesus said to them all of you will run away and leave me for the scripture says god will kill the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered but after i am raised to life i will go to galilee ahead of you Peter answered, I will never leave you, even though all the rest do. Jesus said to Peter, I tell you that before the cock crows twice tonight, you will say three times that you do not know me. Peter answered, even more strongly, I will never say that, even if I have to die with you. And all the other disciples said the same thing. <sighs> um... This is the day that I didn't show up, and this was the word for the day that day. And um, the, the following day, I was like, I'm not okay. I had been crying. I had been thinking about my past and the things that I've done in my past. Um, like um, the decisions that I'm making, questioning the decisions that I'm making, like now, recently. And I was just today questioning, like, am I good enough and all those things. And the devil was definitely working over time because he was making me think things that have already passed. He was making me open. I, I listened to this video. It says that when you think of those things that are in the past, um, things that have hurt you, things that you've done, um, you open it as some sort of spiritual realm. And it's so true because the moment you think about the past, is the moment that you feel emotional, is the moment that you want to cry about it, is the moment that you feel useless, it's the moment that like you don't feel okay at all. And it's the moment that you feel like, you know what, um, I'm at a standstill, my life is at a standstill. I mean, you could easily feel like that any day, but I realized that the day that I didn't show up for, for prayer, the day that I didn't show up for reading the word, the devil was just working over time. He was telling me things that I do not want to hear things that will probably bring me down, not even today, but at that very moment. So, um, this word to me means that without God, we are nothing. You know, um, Jesus told Peter that you will betray me. And we've also read about, um, Judas Iscariot where he betrays Jesus, Jesus, um, even gave him a chance to say that you will betray me. One of you will betray me. That's what he said to his disciples. And all of them looked at each other confused. And I mean, one of my friends said that betrayal is something that is unexpected because um, you receive it from the people that are most close to you. So the people that you love. And it is very true in the sense that um, Jesus was betrayed by those he loved. He really loved his disciples. Um, he really loved Judas Iscariot. He really loved Peter. And, you know, we see his love when he says that you are going to betray me, like one of you is going to betray me. He still gives them a chance to turn from the wicked ways. He still gives them a chance to say, you know what, um, you can turn from your wicked ways because he loves them so much. So I believe that the Lord gave me another chance. I woke up the next day and I was like, you know what? I'm not okay. 
I've been crying from the previous day. I've been thinking about certain things. But I came back and I was like, Hey, Ngosiam, the daily bread. This is the daily bread. The daily bread. I was like, I did not do it yesterday. And hmm, something is off. So, like, I think we should look at those moments in our lives. I think we should look at those parts in our lives where um, we don't show up for certain things and how it affects us. And whoever is struggling with anything today, I just want to say that pray to the Lord. Um, read the word, you know, show up. No matter how you're feeling, guys, your, our emotions will be the death of us because today you can be feeling somehow, like you can be feeling sad and you're feeling like, Ugh, I don't want to read the word. But we have to show up regardless, even when we feel like we can't. But you can. Even if it means that you read two verses, you've done something. You know, consistency is very important because um, it's just it just makes life easier. It just, you know, pushes you forward. So I think that um, we should look forward. We should, you know, do things better for ourselves. The past is the past. What you've done in the past, forgive yourself. Like, talk to the Lord and be like, Lord, please help me to forgive myself because he has forgiven you already. So... We know that song. So, Thank you, guys. Cheers.